So we're back with Triple M Outfitters. Tonight we're sitting in a ground blind. Earlier today we went out and we did a spot and stalk. Had a great time. Tonight we're sitting in a ground blind. We have some time between now and when they really should be hitting. But we did see a lot of pig in this area, so we're excited to get going. A lot of you guys ask what our setups are, and we don't go over them enough because we just try not to be too crass. But tonight I'm shooting the Supernova SD. Um, it has got the half jacket system and it's got a 125 grain three blade that we just released from Toughhead. So we've been real excited about this new product and we're excited about the new weight. I built these up at the exact same weight as the Gemini's I was shooting earlier so that I didn't have to make any adjustments, but um, I think it's going to be good to go. but the thunder and lightning is starting to drown them out. So I think we're gonna wait here just a little bit longer and then we're gonna head back. I had to get out and get the arrow. So we usually wait a little bit longer right after a shot, but it's raining and um, it's getting dark. I'm not using a lighted knock. So we're gonna see if we can find the arrow, see if we got good blood. We know about which way it went and we're gonna call Matt and get on it. See it? Yeah, yeah, we got blood all the way up the fletchings. Ooh, that's a pretty, painted that one pretty. So I'm assuming that we got the top of the heart there because it was just up on the front leg. So let's we'll see if we can get some blood going this way and no call Matt. How about those acrobatics you did? Oh gosh, I'm gonna have to find an Advil tonight because I was trying to drew and then trying to stand up and trying to crouch and that wasn't working. <laughs> okay, we found blood. We're going to just kind of hang out here after 
be in charge this morning multiple times. We're just gonna hang out, wait for Matt, and uh, then we'll try to do the recovery. All right, we were gonna wait. And just as we found the blood right here, um, maybe a few feet back, Connor looked underneath, because we gotta keep looking underneath because you don't know when he's got a buddy that's gonna come out. That's what happened to us today. And look underneath and he's laying dead about, um, I don't know, another seven or eight yards underneath there. So from where he was shot to where he died is maybe 25 yards. Cool. Not bad. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. minute behind this palm frond and uh i thought you were gonna smoke him i was i was going to but all i could see was the black moving through and i couldn't see any vitals so that got it that was close let's go get the one you shot let's go get the one i shot uh, you're getting too old not to have a gopro to do this <laughs> we should have been filming this on the gopro look at the look at the wound there on that side I'm assuming. Yep, he's dead. Oh man. All right. There you go. There's your triangle. Now was this? This, this is the exit? Yeah, okay. I was trying to remember in my mind what was what. Okay. There we go. It's been a little bit magical out here, I'm not going to lie. This place is definitely a sportsman's paradise. Good news is we still got more to come. So we shot it right there about where your pickup truck is. Okay. It came right through here and then ran maybe another six, seven yards right in there. Is nice. it? Very cool. Is it? We were going to wait for you to actually go in the brush. We weren't that bold, but Connor happened to just look underneath there and see it was laying dead. So we drug it. We drug it out. How far was your shot? Um. 14 yards wasn't okay. wasn't too bad yes, not compared to this morning so like yeah heart shot, man. yep that's very nice well you told us where to put it so we just follow directions yeah, absolutely Congratulations, thanks man my friend. appreciate it absolutely. it's been an awesome time and that wraps up this episode of series tv we will be back tomorrow with more hunting and another episode <laughs>